friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a cataract with coloboma iris and weak genule and the cataract is soft nuclear sclerosis is grade 1 plus or grade 2 let us observe this surgery main incision is made the anti chamber is filled up with visco a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away now see as i try to do capsulorexis the tip of the uterator doesn't want to pierce there is wrinkling of the capsule So, in such cases, we should take a sharp needle and pierce the capsule and raise a capsular attack. So, I pierce the capsule with the sharp needle, 26 gauze bent needle, and now some visco over the cornea, a bit clarity is obtained, and now I hold the capsular tag and do a rexis which is eccentric. It does not go much towards the area of coloboma. It is more in the upper part. So, we have to do this eccentric rexis in case of coloboma iris. If we go towards the colobomatous area where the zonule is weak, there can be extension of the rexis and the surgery becomes very much complicated. Now, I am using Mohanta's pre-chopper to divide this nucleus into some pieces. This is two heminuclei, rotate and then divide on heminucleus into two parts and then I come out. I can inject visco and go again and divide the other heminucleus also, but that is not necessary. And now is the time to go into the anterior chamber with the phaco needle. The phaco needle goes with its bevel down, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and I am trying to hold one piece. and the nucleus is so soft, yes, this two pieces are coming, I still it is difficult to bring those pieces, it is so soft. And now this heminucleus, just engage and chop it with the sustainer, nucleus sustainer. Even if it is not we cannot chop it, we can just start eating from one side and finish it off. Now, in such cases when the zonule is weak, I prefer a Simco cannula. Automated instruments, bimanual irrigation aspiration, coaxial IA can co suddenly catch the posterior capsule and before I react, there can be zonular dehiscence, but with Simco that control is better, we can do it slowly and we can always watch what is happening and we can safely remove the cortex. Only thing is you need a larger side port, but I have made only one side port about 90 degree away, which reduces some astigmatism induced by the main wound. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. When the zonule is weak, it is I always implant the lens under visco because the irrigation pressure can cause some tear off of some zonular fibers. So, inject visco, fill up the SE, and then uh, implant the lens. At this time, there is no irrigation pressure on the zonule. When the leading haptic is like this, you just bend it and place it in the capsular bag. Both the haptics are in the capsular bag. 
and now we have to remove the visco that we have used for implantation of the intraocular lens. I do some irrigation aspiration with Simco. This is a totally unedited a real time surgery. You are not missing anything and see the placement of the leading haptic. The leading haptic is supporting the colobomatous area. This is the ideal placement and the lens should be either hydrophobic or a multipiece uh, sensor multipiece or oro multipiece intraocular lens. I mean three piece hydrophobic lens and this uh, single piece hydrophobic also can give good support to the capsular bag, but hydrophilic IOL does not give much support. So, the preferred lens number one is three piece hydrophobic, then single piece hydrophobic. The side port has been closed and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time any visco that is on the corneal endothelium is removed. Anterior chamber is nicely formed, few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface, integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention, hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. When the jonul is weak and cataract is soft, I insist on using Mohanta's bridge chopper. Thank you very much for your attention.